Before we begin, I'd like to give a shout out to the sponsors of this video, Wiz Yakuza. They create artwork for the voices of Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, My Hero Academia, and other major anime like these amazing 3D lenticular prints. You can even get these printed on metal or canvas if that's your thing. Their artwork is 100% exclusive to their website and they're a small two-man operation, so make sure you support small businesses because this is something unique and trust me, this will really blow you and your friends' minds when you see it for yourselves. They ship fast and worldwide for the most part so check the link in the description if you'd like to buy make sure to use the promo code vinny which will give you 20 percent off your first order As we head towards the end of this season, it seems like a refreshing change compared to the wasteland that was spring 2020. Rent a Girlfriend, God of High School, Uzaki-chan and other shows have been gaining a lot of traction and a lot of the sequels are looking to go towards their home stretch in style. Except maybe for ReZero where the suffering is just starting. Anyway, while we're enjoying the current season with much more positive vibes as the world at large begins to adjust to a new lifestyle, I don't think that it's too early to look ahead and see what next season and has for us. When you have a yearly lineup as strong as 2020 has, it only makes sense to become more and more excited as the year goes on. So what does next season have in store for us? Let's find out. <laughs> We begin this list with the day I became a god. Oh man, I remember when the first promotional picture for this was released. My social media went wild because after so many years, we finally see Jun Maida make his return to the anime scene. Now if you recall, he's the guy responsible for Angel Beats. The day I became a god, however, goes a tiny bit off tangent with the afterlife theme of Angel Beats and instead revolves around Yuta Narukami. Your typical boy engaged in preparing for university entrance exams, he runs into Hina, a self-proclaimed god of omniscience. Hina has a bold declaration, claiming that the world will end in just 30 days. For some reason, the girl whose predictive powers seem more and more legit decides to stay in Yuta's home where they plan to enjoy their last summer before the end of everything. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a big twist with the whole end of the world thing along the way, but I'll let you speculate and discuss it. Looking at who's on board though, you better prepare your tissues, whatever the case. Number 9 we have Hanio no Yashahime, much to the delight of the 2000s fans. Set years after Inuyasha's epilogue, Yashahime mainly tells the story of Tova and Setsuna, Seshomaru's twin daughters. In a twist similar to what happened in the original story, Tova and Setsuna get separated and the former finds herself in modern day Japan being taken in by Kagome's brother. The two worlds connect once more a decade later when Tova reunites with her sibling, only to find out that Setsuna is now a demon slayer and has no memories of her whatsoever. Joining in the fun is Morua, Inuyasha and Kagome's daughter, and the wheels begin to turn on the latest chapter of the timeless classic. With Bleach and Shaman King having been confirmed to come back in anime form, then why stop here? Why not have Inuyasha join the party? Another of the 2000's most beloved shonen series, it's made making its return with a sequel this very next season and it's been met with much excitement. Let's see if it will stack up with the rest of the blockbusters we'll be covering on this list. Up next is Noblis. We've seen Tower of God and God of High School. How about the god in... Oh, wait, we got combo breaked. Anyway, what some people consider the big three in Korean webtoons is going to be completed with this coming blockbuster series. Brought to you by Production IG, Noblis is finally ready to grace our screens. The intriguing story of a supernatural noble finding himself in modern-day Korea has fascinated many and is now ready to take the anime world by storm. Following his awakening, Rai enrolls as a student in Yi Ran High School, seeking knowledge of how the world changed since his 800 year slumber. Accompanying him is his devoted servant Frankenstein, who has since become the director of the high school. It's never too late to join the fandom and watching the anime is the best way to know what the buzz is all about. Mark your calendars, Nobly starts this October.
coming up is Golden Gumway Season 3 at number 7. Now it's been out for a while but the historical adventure into the realm of the Ainus has been low key one of the amazing anime series of the past few years. You might want to head into my previous video on underrated anime if you want to know more about the series and its background. After almost a year since the trailer hit, the third season of Golden Gumway looks to continue Sugimoto's adventure. As Season 2 dropped a bomb of a cliffhanger to us, I find myself unable to see what happens to our main characters. Judging by the trailers that we've seen, it seems that this season will be a lot more intense and high stakes than anything that we've seen before from Golden Gamui. How will Sugimoto and Aserpa reunite in the treacherous wastelands of Japan? Tune into the third season to find out. A victim of the numerous delays that characterized the first half of the year, Danmachi is finally ready to roll this upcoming fall season. Season 2 got a bit of a lukewarm reception with how the novel arcs were adapted, but with the delay opening up more chances of JC staff to up their game and plan things out, Season 3 looks pretty promising. Which is a good thing, because if we're going by where they are right now, this should be around the time Danmachi starts becoming more serious, with the coming arc further expounding on Bell's character and motivations. Having read some things about the upcoming arc, I'd say that you should prepare for some dramatic moments that you've never expected from an otherwise light-hearted and easy-going fantasy adventure such as Danmachi. There's only a few months left to go before we reunite with Belle and the rest of the familia. Who'd have known that half a decade after its initial airing that we'd see Godsuya grace our screens again? The old memes say that Madhouse doesn't do season 2s, but 8-Bit has since picked up the slack and not only given us the movie, but this upcoming sequel to the much-beloved Power Fantasy. Season 2 of Mahoka picks up where the first one left off, leaving us in a world where magic and subsequently magicians have become the core foundation of international politics. The already touchy sense of bare-bones peace would come to an end when a mysterious being starts appearing, leaving its victims drained of blood. As Tatsuya and the rest of the gang investigate the vampire incident, more opposition comes their way as new transfer student Angelina Kudo Shields seems to have her own agenda in investigating the phenomenon as a member of the USNA. It's a three-way battle against the finest of first high, the ace of the American forces and the vampiric being that's been wreaking havoc at night. So excited to see Godsuya back and we're not going to have to wait too long for it. Long-time legacy manga aren't the only relics of the 2000s making their way back as Higurashi is here to represent the visual novel boom of the period. Higurashi in its heyday was one of the universally praised visual novels and its anime received the same positive reception. Why not run it back and then some this 2020 then? It's always a nice feeling to see a long-time friend from the past and for those who weren't around in that time, Higurashi 2020 is here to terrorize people while telling them a gripping story once again. For those who weren't able to get a satisfying fix from the previous anime, then worry no more. Signs and rumors point that this 2020 series will be a remastered remake of one route from the visual novel. Both longtime fans and newcomers will have a blast with this show it seems. Prepare to dive back into the world of Higurashi this fall. <laughs> To Your Eternity is at number 3 on this list. From the creator of the critically acclaimed Silent Voice comes this brand new story about an immortal being that finds itself on Earth. Without emotions and identity, it was sent to gain experience and learn from the world of the living, having the cool ability to shapeshift, taking the form of various things before eventually gaining sentience and meeting a boy in the tundra. Finally, taking on the form of the boy who now lies in a critical state, the sentient being now goes on a journey looking for new experiences that will teach it more about the world it finds itself in. Now, are you familiar with this kind of plot? I sure am, but I think that it's not something that we've seen in anime often, at least in modern day anime. I think that this is going to be one of the more thought-provoking shows this upcoming season, and I wouldn't be surprised to see this become a sleeper hit or something like that. Jujutsu Kaisen is second on the most awaited anime list for fall 2020. Physically gifted, Yuji Itadori instead finds his calling in the about to be disbanded occult research club. His life takes a sudden turn when he encounters Megumi, a sorcerer on the hunt for artifacts such as a talisman that the occult club had unwittingly unleashed. Yuji soon swallows the talisman, a finger, and becomes the host of a powerful demon Sukuna. By all means he should be exercised, but having maintained control of his body, Yuji gets a 
new mission assigned to him, consume all of Sukuna's fingers in order to kill the demon once and for all. I've always loved these Shonen Jump Supernatural titles, and I think that Jujutsu Kaisen has a pretty unique and interesting setup. Let's see how this one turns out. Will this be a smash hit of the season? <sighs> Only time will tell. After what seemed to be some uncertainty, it's finally here. It's coming, and we'll be getting more Haikyuu this fall, fittingly topping the list of the most anticipated fall 2020 shows. The first part of Season 4 left us in the midst of the Nationals, and the whole world's watching to see how the next phase of the tournament will unfold. Garasuno's toughest challenge is still ahead, despite the amazing finish in their previous game which went down to the wire. What else awaits our plucky hero team, who still have to go through some of the strongest teams in the road ahead? With everyone's anticipation at an all-time high, there's no doubt that Haikyuu is the most anticipated title this coming season. The fervor is there, the set is there, let's see if the anime team can finish with a spike befitting of a victor. And that's it for this list. Missing anything? I know, I know. I think it's best to address the elephant in the room right now because as of the time of writing, the final season of Attack on Titan hasn't been confirmed to be airing this fall. Its status, as of the time of writing here, continues to bounce between releasing this fall to being indefinitely delayed. There have been some conflicting reports, but with the state of the world right now, I wouldn't be surprised if the show's pushed back somewhere down the line. Despite that, there is a reason for positivity, as some reports have stated that music production has more or less finished and the show probably won't take any longer than early 2020 to come out. Besides that, Fall 2020 does look really amazing, doesn't it? Fall will surely steal the show with its healthy mix of remakes, sequels and new titles. The fun and turn-filled ride of 2020 is nowhere close to ending. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you never miss any uploads. Don't forget to check out our sponsors of this video, Wiz Yakuza. The link's in the description. I'll see you next time on Vinitube.